Today I'm going to go through the settings for Google Safe Search. These are very quick and easy and can limit the opportunity for our children to be exposed to inappropriate content on the internet. Even though not perfect, they'll greatly reduce the opportunity for our children to get access to this information. These settings will not only apply to Google web searches, but also to Google image searches and also to YouTube. So what I'm going to do initially is just type in a, a word that any person, including our children, could type, and it's only four letters. And I'll do a search on that term, and we'll just see what comes up. We do a search on the word porn, and up comes a list of what is obviously, without us even visiting them, inappropriate websites for our children to go to. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just indicate the top right-hand corner. That's my account up there. So I've signed into a Google account. Now, this account is necessary if you want to lock the settings that we're going to put in place. So what I'll do, I'll take the word porn out, and I'll put another word in so we're not looking at uh, that content the whole time. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back up to the right-hand corner where you'll see there's a little cog, and that cog is uh, listed as options. Now all programs will have these, and they're either called options or settings. We're going to click on there and go to search settings, the top selection. And you're going to see there's a lot of preferences here that we can select and deselect or activate and unactivate when it comes to our searching. The third one down is the safe search filtering. Now you can see we've got three options. Do not filter, use moderate filtering, which is uh, set by default. And then we've got the one probably that, would be, uh, that we would want in place for our children is use strict filtering. It will filter both explicit text and explicit images. So that's the one that we would want to select. Now we're going to select that. Now they've given us two options for saving our preferences and we must always save them down the bottom and conveniently one up the top right hand corner. So we click on there and instantly our preferences have been saved. Now we must always test and revisit these settings. I look there on the screen beside the, the search button and it says Google Safe Search is on. But I'm just going to get rid of the word computer and I'm going to type the word porn back in and then search on that. And you'll see that we get the same inappropriate websites and the safe search link is actually set to off. Now if we go back in through here, we will go back to our selection page. Again, the third one down, you'll see that they haven't been saved. It's back on use moderate filtering. So I'm going to use strict filtering again, select that, go up and save my preference at the top. Let's acknowledge that my preferences have been saved. And we're going to go back to the search screen and you'll see that now it says Google Safe Search is back on and it's filtered out the bad websites. This should indicate that the Safe Search is now active. So I've searched on computer. You'll find that I'll go out and I'll put porn in again. Search on that. And what it says is that your search porn did not match any documents. Of course, Google could have matched it, but we have safe search on. I'm now going to go to Google Images. Click on the images. And you'll see that the same results apply. Your search porn did not match any documents. Strict safe search is on. We go back to our search engine, our search page, Google safe search is on. We go into our preferences again, so we clicked on uh, the Google safe search link. Now we're gonna go down to the bottom of the safe search filtering box and you'll see the term lock safe search. This is an active link and we can lock our selection by clicking on that link. Now it will take you to your uh, Google account and it will require that you put your password in again. And then we're given the option lock safe search.
Now this will lock it so our preferences can't be changed. It's applying our preference across all Google domains. This generally only takes a couple of seconds. So safe search is now locked across all domains. And depending on the appearance of your Google search page, a number of coloured balls may appear in the top right hand corner. This indicates that safe search is activated. If you have a uh, browser that looks like that and those aren't there, those balls aren't there, that may indicate that it's not on safe search. So we're going to type in porn again and we can see that it's blocked it. That's on the Google search. And up near the search uh, tab, beside the magnifying glass, it says safe search is locked in images, in the search engine as well. So safe search is locked. Now if someone tries to bypass that by going to the safe search filtering preferences associated with that account, they can click on the active unlock and it will ask for the password. So it's a very good idea that your children don't have your password to your email account or it may make these settings redundant. So there I have the option to unlock Safe Search after I've put my Google ID or Google email password in again. So Safe Search is unlocked, but Safe Search is still active even though it's unlocked. So we go back to our Google page. We can do a search on porn here. Again, Google search, and it is blocked. And even though we've unlocked Google Safe Search, the Safe Search is still on. I'll repeat again, these settings need to be checked and revisited. YouTube. Some results have been removed because safety mode is enabled. So it will apply to YouTube as well. To finish off, remember, the settings always need to be tested and revisited. These settings need to be applied to each separate device or computer. They also need to be applied separately to each alternate search engine, such as Firefox, Bing or Yahoo. However, most young people in Australia prefer Google searching. Most mobile devices have safe search settings available. Look for the word settings or options or the gear or cog symbol on the internet search page. And always remember, these settings will not eliminate, however, it will reduce the risk of inappropriate content.